Hey, Eli, just, just how big of a challenge will it be to replace what Drew Wiley did for you guys? And, and how close do you feel like you're getting there? Oh, Drew, Drew's a great player. So uh, we've got some big shoes to fill when it comes to him. Um, luckily, we, we got uh, some new guys. Got Tim Horn coming in. Coming in. Uh, Jalen Pickle's been doing great. So uh, hopefully between three of us, D. Hens, the fourth, uh, hopefully we can pick up the slack there. So I think we'll be all right. But Drew was an incredible player and had a great career here. Yeah, the guy we probably know the least about so far is Timothy Horn, obviously, because he's a new transfer. Just just what kind of impact this season has he had so far? Tim's a great player. He played a lot of ball at Charlotte. He's a very experienced player. Um, he's going to be a very good player here. He's very explosive, big dude, strong dude. So I'm excited to see what he can do this season. And lastly, is there – a young defensive lineman you guys have right now, whether it be on the edge or inside, that you can kind of see the light starting to come on for them that maybe it wasn't there yet before this, this spring? Uh, I wouldn't say that the light wasn't necessarily on for this guy, but Felix is definitely getting way better. He's had a good spring so far. Um, he's looked great out there on the field, and I expect he'll probably do some very big things this fall. Thanks. Kels. Flip side of the ball for you here, Eli. Who's impressed you most on the offensive line in spring? Uh, offensive line's experience. They've got a lot of good dudes. Cooper Beebe's looked great this spring. Uh, Josh Revis, he's been in there for a few years. He's always been a great player. Uh, Noah Johnson's been battling inside. So uh, there's been a lot of dudes who've been impressive so far this spring and had, had good spring practices. The way last year ended, um, like the Texas game, the Iowa State game, um, I know that that wasn't the way you guys envisioned. Have you used some of those scores as motivation when you're out in the field right now? Yeah, absolutely. Um, no one wants to end a season that way, especially how we started out. We thought we'd, we had it rolling and then it just kind of abruptly stopped. Um, so I think that's in the back of everyone's minds every single day we're going out there, every lift we're going to, every workout we're doing. I think that's definitely some extra motivation uh, that we'll have going into this season. And I don't know how much time you spent around like all the transfers other than Horn, but what have those guys done to come in and I mean, see, everybody says they've, you know, um, already fit into the locker room really fast. But what have they done to transition to Kansas State's way of way of life so easily? Uh, we've just got a, a good group of guys here. Everyone's very accepting here. Everyone gets along great. Um, so I, I think as soon as those guys came in, everyone just accepted them, talked to them, became friends with them, hanging out with them inside of the complex and outside. Um, so, yeah, everyone's adapted, uh, it seems, very well and very quickly. Um, I think we're going to have a very tight-knit, good team this year. All right. Thanks, Eli. Appreciate it. Anything else for Eli? Go ahead, Derek. Yeah, Eli, uh, something we've heard quite a bit this spring, or this spring with other interviews is that there's more buy-in uh, on the football team. Is that something that you, you would say as well? Yeah, you can feel it. Um, something's just different out there this year. When, when, when you're out at practice, it's just way more competitive, uh, way more energy. People just want to be out there really bad. Um, yeah, there's this, you can just, it's something you just got to be here and feel. It's, it's definitely different this year. People are way more motivated and way more bought in uh, this season. And what are the first impressions or maybe differences with the new strength coach and, and Coach Carroll? Oh, coach Drew's awesome. Uh, he's, he's been so cool so far. Uh, workout's been tough. He's been a great motivator. He's been a lot of fun to be around. Um, I think he's a, a great addition here at Kansas State. Thanks, man. Grant. Hey, Eli, uh, what are your thoughts of this offensive line? Obviously, you go up against them every day in practice. Yeah, our offensive line's tough. Uh, it's a good group of guys, a bunch of tough dudes, a um, lot of experience. Many guys on that offensive line have been playing for a few years now. Um, I think they're getting better every single year, getting better every single day here at practice. Um, I think they're one of the best, if not the best, uh, O-lines in the Big 12. So I expect big things out of them this year. And then what's a guy on the defensive end that we haven't talked about uh, today with you that you could bring up and, and give us some good insight on? 
Uh, Julius Brents, I think he's going to be a great player here. Everything I've seen so far, he's a big dude out there at corner, and he's looked incredible so far in practice. So I, I expect a, a big year out of him.